just once again, uh, this office in the White House is completely not listening to the trucker, the end user, or the buyer. They just want to do what the extreme environmentalists want. And what it's going to do is put lots and lots of truckers out of business. And no one even wants to talk about all the challenges and operational challenges that come with these trucks. They want, uh, by 2032, they want 60% of urban delivery trucks to be electric and 25% of long haul trucks to be electric. That's by 2032. You're laughing. You don't think you can meet those standards? Where are we going to charge them? That's my first right. question. Oh. I, I mean, the city. there was a company in Juliet, Illinois, was going to put a terminal in for 30 trucks. The city said, you can't do it. You're going to use more electricity than the entire city of Jul Juliet, Illinois. Let, let we me don't just, have enough let me, let me just jump in for a second. I've read some numbers in the Wall Street Journal this morning. Uh, to achieve these goals, they need 1.4 million new charging stations which will have to be installed at a rate of 15,000 a month for the next eight years. I think you can laugh at this one because that ain't going to happen, is it? 70% of freight out here is all moved by trucks. Yeah. So when all these trucks are charging, well, we're going to have to bring more trucks out. Is there, is there a rising tide amongst truckers that says this, this is impossible? You completely oppose it? What are they telling you? Yeah, I mean, my membership, like I said, represents 150,000 members, 225,000 pieces of equipment across this country. And they're all concerned and there's no, they're all saying there's no way this is going to work. We can't do it. They're concerned about their lives and their livelihood. What happens in the wintertime? You get stuck in a snow blizzard along the highway for two or three days and your battery goes dead. Th these people could freeze to death and die. 